Today, some encouragement on making life a little bit easier. The only reason that you can't accomplish something is that you attempt the impossible. The things that you accomplish, you can do easily. And I think that's it. Those are the only two things. Often we don't attempt things like write a book, start a company, uh, go after the perfect significant other, start a movement, uh, anything Thing like that that we can consider in our minds because we think it's too big it's too big i can't do that well of course you can't do that it's too big there's too many parts that come together that are completely out of your control and aren't up to you you can't do that i'm telling you right now you can't do that so stop trying or putting it on yourself like you should do that i should write a book tomorrow it's not gonna happen what you can do though you should do it's popped in your mind make you feel better why not what are those things? Well, you could, if you want to write a book, it's not going to happen tomorrow, but you could sit down and write for 10 minutes, put some, a concept down on paper. You, uh, that's all I did. I wrote a book. It took four years, <laughs> but I finished it. If you want to check it out, it's the captain. I'll put a link in it. Uh, you want to start a movement. Well, you can't do that. Sorry. Uh, what you can do though is share whatever it is that you're thinking should happen, right? Uh, you should start sharing. Share with someone in front of you. If it's motivated by love, just be loving. That's all you need to do. The movement may or may not happen. It's none of your business. What your business is, is doing the little thing that might end up to the big thing. But then the secret to fulfillment and happiness is cherishing, cherishing that moment, that one tiny little thing, that little task and knowing you're doing your part, you're doing what you're supposed to do, you're accomplishing your mission completely in that one accomplishable, finished task. You're done. You did it. But then you don't stop doing it. Not that you complete and you stop. It's you're complete and you go again because you're complete. What else do you have to do? Well, nothing. This is what you're doing. This is what you're here for. That's why we're here on earth. We're doing stuff. We're engaging. Uh, if we start to become aware we're doing stuff motivated by love and kindness and connection but regardless we're doing stuff so start doing stuff and stop putting the load on yourself like it should be something other than it is you're lonely and you want a significant other okay well you're not gonna be married tomorrow hopefully that would probably be a bad decision <laughs> but what you can do start smiling I mean, that's a really good step to, uh, to not be lonely anymore. You might find yourself not lonely real quick just because friendly people uh, promote friendly people. It's nice to be around friendly people, so be friendly. You get it? Do that little thing and realize that the thing you want to start, that thing you really want to have that you're moving towards, you can't have it. Give it up. What you can have, though, is the part, the tiny little part that 10 minutes of writing, that smile, that uh, professing and declaring the truth that you so would have, have in, the, in the world. And then a miracle might happen that the book might come and the movement might start and this, that significant other might say yes. It might happen, but it's none of your business. Just do the little part today. And when you do, feel complete and know that you did your part and you'll be more complete to do it again. It's this weird dichotomy of letting go of those things that you wish you had in the future and doing what you can and seeing it come back to you as a gift instead of something you strive for in anxiety and like that. Let me know your thoughts, uh, comment, like, share, uh, check out the link, check out my book and I hope to connect.